Good day traders, my name is Mike Seidel. I'm Tickmill analyst, private trader and financial market coach. I trade the market since late 1990s and I would like to bring you in the comfortable situation that you can uh, work as easy with the MetaTrader 5 here um, at Tickmill and uh, to get in touch with the software it's quite easy just um, click on the website uh, from Tickmill. I will show you this on my own monitor just uh, to see this or to do this um, in a stage uh, to get all the information. Click on tickmill.co.uk uh, and you have the website from Tickmill and you find all the information that you need for your trading. For example, all the markets, uh, Forex, um, stock indices and oil, precious metals, uh, bond and cryptocurrencies. And you find also uh, the information Informations about the platform, the trading platforms, WebTrader, MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, of course. And the MetaTrader 5 uh, is the latest uh, software from uh, MetaTrader uh, with some uh, important key features. You see this here uh, on the website for you now at the situation where we are now. It's very interesting for you. How can you get the software on your computer just available on you can see this here. It's for Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS or the web trader and just select whatever you need, uh, download it on your on your computer uh, and then install it on the computer. And uh, the next one that you need is for, for, for sure you need an account. I will show you how you can do this directly from uh, the MetaTrader 5 or you just uh, select it here on the platform a demo account or create a real uh, trading account. And then uh, when you have downloaded um, the software, just click on to open it and the window uh, will be open here. Uh, in this and uh, you see the software uh, over here and when you start the software uh, the first time uh, you see a window uh, with uh, an account um, um, opening process or uh, to enter um, your your uh, account uh, number and your password uh, and if you would like to do this uh, manually uh, just uh, click on here uh, not open an account when you have no account at the moment just click open an account and you can uh, open the account for Tickmill the next one uh, when you have your account um, you, you should log into your trading account and you need your account number and the password and Tick will, will send you all the informations um, that you need and you can get started uh, with all the symbols uh, that we have here uh, in, in, in the trading opportunities and uh, I will show you now how you can work easy uh, with uh, the MetaTrader 5, how you can get started, place orders, uh, change orders and whatever you would like to do. It's just, um, yeah, we will see this in the next uh, minutes over here. So let's start uh, with, um, with, with the window here, uh, with the menu you see here, uh, the file field. It's the first menu and uh, it's um, yeah self-explaining. New chart means what it is. You can open a new chart. You can, uh, for example, um, uh, use one of these over here or you click on Forex and for example, um, what do we have here? Euro Great Britain Pound, for example, and then you see here uh, the Euro Great Britain Pound chart. It's quite easy uh, to open it and we will come back to the charts um, in a few uh, minutes. Just uh, let uh, me work over here. Uh, with the uh, with the file menu too, um, you have some uh, interesting or important things. The next one, what we have here is um, the profiles. Um, profiles are um, a profile is um, a saved um, a status here uh, in uh, the software. Uh, and a profile is how you can um, make your own setup. For example, um, what we have here uh, in this in the stage. For example, you have a chart or window. Uh, with four different charts uh, and uh, you would like to say all right okay this one is my overview for example with these four charts uh, and I would like to save it here uh, just click on profiles save as and you can uh, type the name whatever you want to do um, test uh, with uh, four charts for example uh, and then click on OK and then you are um, able to select between uh, different uh, charts. Uh, that means the profiles you have here, you have, um, for example, you see this here test with four charts or you click on the, the euro. Uh, now you see uh, you have uh, four channel 
uh, with uh, euro only the euro in, uh, in 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 all of these charts or you click for example um, back to the latest version that we have here um, test with four charts and now you have the four charts that we had before euro swiss franc uh, bitcoin uh, on a on a four hourly here is the bitcoin in a weekly uh, and the australia dollar um, the can the australia dollar can dollar in the hourly chart this is uh, quite easy uh, to change uh, in the in the profiles and brings you in the situation that you can uh, just switch between the profiles whatever you need uh, to do uh, in your trading just select the profile and that's done uh, next one is uh, that you can uh, open the data folder just a little hint in here uh, i would uh, um, suggest you to make a copy uh, of uh, the data folder um, because of uh, it's quite important when your system uh, needs to be complete new installed this uh, data folder will be deleted too and when you have a backup you can always replace it and then you can install the metatrader new and just uh, paste and copy the data from the data folder back up into uh, the new data folder and then you have the same um, um, fields the same settings that you made before that's it here um, from from that side from uh, the file menu uh, the next one uh, is the view languages self-explaining you can select the language whatever you want uh, the next here is the toolbar uh, the toolbar is that field over here just let me click uh, in the situation here that's it this one over here this is your toolbar over here this one all these fields here are the toolbar um, and uh, the toolbar um, is uh, needed to make some selections for example here uh, in a chart if you would like to do um, switch the time frames you can choose between one minute and one month and you just click on it and you can uh, switch over between all the different time frames um, you can uh, choose between cursor or a crosshair here you see the differences uh, you can make uh, the selections in the drawing tools uh, draw some um, vertical lines or some horizontal lines or here you can make uh, a channel you see whatever you would like to do you can work with it uh, and place the channel wherever you want to do this make your own uh, setups uh, for you in uh, the drawing tools and you can uh, see whatever you would like uh, to need um, for your trading you can use the drawing tools over here you have a text tool uh, where you can just place anything like uh, test trade or whatever um, put it in push enter and then you have it over here uh, and if you like um, to uh, make something uh, different for example uh, select another um, um, color or whatever just um, make sure uh, that um, the, the uh, properties you would like to change uh, is selected that means you see here uh, the white points just this is important double click uh, to uh, to unlock it or double click to uh, mark it and then right um, mouse click on the properties and you can for example make some new colors for yeah? just change the color maybe the thickness of the line make it bigger or, or smaller however whatever you prefer and then click on okay and you have it and uh, if you would like to uh, remove it you can even um, click on uh, the right mouse and delete only the object uh, or everything what is um, marked delete all arrows or delete all selected and when you click to delete all selected uh, everything uh, from your chart will be uh, removed uh, that's what you have here in this field uh, and uh, the last one over here um, is uh, the situation you have the thumbs up arrows uh, whatever you need uh, to make some um, yeah drawings uh, in your chart next field um, is uh, the uh, the status bar and the chart bar the status bar uh, is this one over here you see this one give me a second status bar just click it on uh, and off in the status bar is that what you have down on your menu that means it's below everything this one over here this is the status bar and in the status bar uh, you see one second you see here what you have the market is green you have your signals uh, the vps is available um, it's the server the virtual server or your strategy tester what you have on what's running you see this 
uh, over here in this field. That's it from uh, this and you have also uh, the chart bar. The chart bar is this what you have over here, your symbols, Bitcoin, Bitcoin for hours, Australian dollar, can dollar, Euro, Swiss franc. Um, this is the, the charts bar and you can even um, select it to show it or not. And when you have it here, you can use it. Just click on the symbol and you will see the charts are different. It's quite easy. Click on it and when you need it, uh, activate it. And if not, let it be uh, and you will be fine uh, over here. That's it from uh, that side. Uh, and then uh, let's go to the, to the market watch. The market watch, is that what you see here? Uh, here are all symbols in when you have not everything sim every symbol that you need available just click on uh, right mouse uh, and then you can select show all or hide all i will show this to you hide all uh, here, here's uh, not everything in just a few symbols uh, that you have open here uh, in in the charts at the moment and uh, when you would like to see more just click on show all and you have all symbols available uh, that you can trade uh, with Tigma. It's quite easy and if you like to um, make a change in your chart just click on a symbol pull it over and then you have for example the euro great britain pound uh, in this chart windows and uh, if you would like to trade it i will show you soon um, how it's important, uh, how it's uh, to do, you can easily make it. But before, uh, just like uh, let us check the other uh, fields over here. Uh, you have the, the market watch. This is uh, important. The data window, just in case that you need um, uh, some data informations. You see the date, the time, open, high, low, close, the volume and so on. And um, it's the information that you can find in one of the candles over here for example now where i am now you see it in this field here uh, when i when you when you when you change uh, the candle you see uh, the numbers are changing and you see the open high low close everything you need in one candle you have it in the data window uh, that's the data window um, and then you have um, the navigator and the navigator is interesting for you if you would like to see the accounts, the indicators that you use in the charts, for example, uh, trend, oscillators, volume and so on, whatever you need. It's in the navigator windows. You have your scripts, the service, the markets, the signals, everything is available there. When you would like to see it, just go to view and open the navigator or uh, control N. It's the same one. Uh, you see this here, just click on it and it's uh, closed again. So that's it uh, from the view field. Next one uh, is inders. Uh, insert is um, um, regarding to the charts. That means you can insert uh, everything in the charts. You can insert indicators. You can uh, insert objects, drawing objects, lines, channels, Fibonacci, Elliott wave, and so on. Uh, in the expert field, uh, you can uh, input uh, you can put in expert mscd for example or whatever you have here just um, try it you you will not uh, destroy uh, the meta trader test it and everything is fine and when you have some scripts uh, for your meta trader just insert here it's everything you need you will find here all right that's uh, the insert the indicators uh, and the uh, charts you have also an indicator list from the charts everything you will have in the charts you will see it here and for example in our chart uh, you see this here over there uh, here's uh, an indicator in it's a moving average you see this here and this one and here below you have the ADX and the indicators show you what you have activated in your charts and you can click on it you can set some properties for example the color make it red for example or whatever you'd like to do um, you can do this here or you can delete it just click on delete and you see it now um, it's not in the chart uh, anymore same like here the average directional um, movement index here delete it and then it's done and you have it not anymore in your chart um, this is uh, the chart window and the next one is uh, the toolbox and in the toolbox you find um, the opportunity to add a new order um, you open your strategy tester um, agents and so on the important thing is for you if you would like to trade place a new order you can click here on new order or you can use it in the field over here in the chart um, you have it here 
uh, just uh, trading and then you can put a new uh, order or you can um, put on sell limit or buy stop you can add alerts uh, and now we switch over to uh, to the order for example and when you see um, this field uh, in the chart you have um, the symbol over here at the moment euro great britain pound um, you have uh, the type of the order it's market execution that means you buy right now uh, select your volume uh, if you would like uh, to do this select the stop loss and take profit uh, and then you can do a, a comment write it down you see it in the chart field and then just select sell by market or buy by market that means you place the order and you will sell right now to the next price or buy right now to the next price um, this is the market order and you have the um, opportunity to choose the pending order and uh, you see here with the pending order you have different types um, of uh, of orders that means you have buy limit sell limit buy stop uh, sell stop uh, buy stop limit and sell stop limit and here in this chart for example uh, we would like to decide as for uh, sell um, um, stop that means we would go short in the euro great britain pound that means we go to sell uh, stop and we will place the order the sell stop order uh, below here for example at 0, uh, 5809 it's that what you put in here in the price field 0, 08509 oh now it's 8509 uh, it's the order now and you can place it right now it's now a sell stop order uh, and you can do a complete you can place complete um, um, setups that means when you would like to work with a stop and you say all right my stop level is here above the 08539 we place just the start here the stop in it's what we have here for example 80 085 40 085 40 it's placed and the next one for example uh, is to take profit and you see here uh, this support level maybe it's interesting for you yeah here you have it there just place it at maybe 0 84 85 just put it in here 0 84 85 and then it's done for your uh, for your complete setup with entry stop and take profit and then uh, you have um, the expiration date gtc means good till cancelled you can say it's just valid for today or you select uh, a day and a time as expiration date or just the day and you can say maybe it's just um, um, valid until uh, tomorrow and then you just click on here set it on tomorrow and it's done and then you can place it and now you have your setup here you will sell as soon as the price will cross below the 08509 you have your stop placed and you have your target placed and that's it and when you would like to make any changes click on one of the lines and remove the whole setup um, or what you can do too is you can um, click on your left mouse modify it or delete it and that's it for placing an order it's mine it's it's quite easy uh, you have the opportunity to place the order right now just a sell limit or whatever you want to do or to a buy limit you can work with a complete order setup it's easy just the trading section here uh, in this field that's it uh, for your chart um, and uh, the next one uh, that we have here in this field is um, the section that we have here in this area uh, you have here your your trade you have the exposure you have your trading history you have some news um, that you can read here you have um, your own mailbox uh, and you have for example the calendar and the calendar is very interesting because if you see here um, all the upcoming events you see the priority uh, with one dot until uh, four of them uh, and you see uh, the, the, the period uh, and you see uh, the previous the forecast uh, and uh, the actual um, uh, um, numbers that's very very important to see this and you can um, easier um, to work with news you know uh, when important news um, will uh, be released and that gives you uh, a touch with the markets when you have 
have to be um, a bit more uh, interested uh, to have closer stops or not to trade or trade um, direct after the event. You see it here. It's quite easy uh, to say, right? Let's go back uh, to the tools. Um, in the uh, charts, you have everything here. Um, you have um, the bar chart, you have the candle chart, line chart. You can select the different time frames. Um, you can uh, select the grid if you see the grid or not. Just select this over here um, in the chart. You can activate the auto scroll and so on. But what you can do here um, um, in this menu, you can do it also here. In this bar on top um, of the chart, that means uh, what I've shown you, it's quite easy. Just click on, for example, the different time frames, and you see uh, what you can do here uh, in the monthly, in the hourly, 30 minutes, whatever you would like to do. Um, one thing is important: uh, you have here a field with this um, this, this scrolling over here. Uh, this is uh, scrolling to the end, uh, and this is uh, screening uh, from the right border. That means you see this here. Just select it. Uh, and you see uh, the right border here, it's scrolled to the right border and you have more space uh, to the back side. Uh, and when you click here uh, on uh, shift it to the end, yeah, that's it. You see here uh, this uh, little arrow over there and you can uh, shift the chart and when you click on it, you can uh, pull it a bit to uh, the right hand side and we'll, you will see a bit more of, of history. That's quite easy uh, that you have uh, that you can do here. Uh, you can um, even uh, zoom it in, zoom it out with uh, plus over here or minus. It's, it's quite self expanding. You can do this also um, on your keyboard. Just click plus and minus. Um, it's easy to see here here on and off smaller and bigger uh, and that's uh, quite simple what you can do here so uh, these are the, the first steps for you uh, to come in touch uh, with the MetaTrader 5 um, I hope it helped you a bit uh, to make your trading a bit easier to start to get started that means from my side what shall I say now it's what I say every day to my traders in my morning show plan your trade trade your plan and you will succeed in trading. From my side, thank you for giving me the time. Always successful trading and we see us soon. Bye-bye.